Registering to use the Mining Cadaster Portal. The Mining Cadaster Portal is available for both current and prospective mining rights holders to interact directly with the Ministry of Mining. Holders of mineral rights as well as holders of pending applications are required to register in person at the Mining Cadaster office prior to making use of the Mining Cadaster portal for the first time. Registration forms may be downloaded from the portal website at www.miningcadaster.go.ke. Once completed, the forms must be submitted along with all supporting documents to the Mining Cadaster office Works Building, Nairobi. When you register to use the portal, you will be given a brief introduction to the system by the cadaster officers. Computer terminals with internet access will also be available for public use at the Mining Cadaster office. As part of an ongoing data validation exercise, existing mineral rights and application holders need to verify their license details through the portal. You will be able to report any discrepancies. All existing rights holders must register and complete this license verification by the end of March 2015. The online submission of applications for licenses, renewals and other processes will be phased in during the first few months of 2015, starting with applications for new exploration licenses from February 2015. Prospective license applicants who do not already have mineral rights or pending applications, will be able to register online to use the system. Signing in to the portal. Once you have been registered on Kenya's Mining Cadaster portal, you may sign in to use the site. Click the sign in link on the portal's homepage and then enter your email address and password. Click the Sign In button. If you have secondary authentication enabled on your account, you will receive a one-time PIN via email or SMS, which you must enter before continuing. Once you are successfully authenticated, your license portfolio page will be displayed. The license portfolio landing page displays a summary of your active licenses and applications, along with a navigable map with your license shapes highlighted. You will be able to view your license information and to update your contact details. Be aware that during the data verification phase, all license information must be regarded as provisional. Applying for a new license. We strongly advise that before you begin your application, you pay the relevant application fee into the nominated government bank account and save a proof of payment as PDF. To start the process, click the Apply for a New License link on the menu. On the application page, you will need to work through several steps. Firstly, select your license type from the drop-down list. Then select the commodities for which you plan to prospect. Next, you will need to upload a number of documents based on the license type you chose, such as tax certificates, technical capability statements, and so forth. Make sure these documents are in PDF format. Next, you will enter or upload your coordinates. All coordinates need to be in WGS84 and conform to a 15 second grid. There are several ways to submit. Firstly, you can manually type in your coordinates in degrees, minutes, and seconds. The points will be plotted one by one on a map. Secondly, you can interactively select your blocks by drawing a polygon on a map. The polygon will be automatically converted into blocks. You can edit your application area further until you are satisfied. Thirdly, you can upload your coordinates from a CSV file. The required format is displayed on the screen. Browse to select the file, upload, and then continue. Once you have all your documents uploaded and your area marked out, you can continue to submit proof of your payment. As you do so, the application will be validated for missing documents and overlaps with existing licenses. Application shapes can be clipped to remove the overlaps. On the next page, 
you will confirm the application for your mount before continuing to the Submit Proof of Payment page. Here you must enter your payment reference and upload your Proof of Payment PDF. Once your Proof of Payment is submitted, your payment will be pending until a Ministry official has confirmed it has been received by their bank. The application is now complete and your area reserved. You should be notified via email within seven calendar days if there are any missing documents, in which case you will need to resubmit them along with proof of another application fee payment.